Mac Jones representing Roll Tide from Alabama and of course Ramadre Stevenson. Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I will be talking the Mac Jones versus the Cam Newton. And Mac Jones should start. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um Matt Jones should clearly start at this point of their careers with Matt Jones being a young bull and with, you know, Cam Newton, it's the old head right now as far as NFL age, right? Cam Newton, this is no disrespect to him. MVP, took your team to the Super Bowl. You did your thing, but his his body, I think his body is giving up on him. Um, took all those hits for the Carolina Panthers and um, injuries. It's like he's just not the same. Um, we've been seeing numbers like this. Their last preseason game, right? Cam Newton went two for five, 10 yards in the interception. And I'm not going to lie. Those numbers are very similar to last year. Very similar to last year. Whereas though Matt Jones he comes in, the offense flows. He goes 10 for 14, 156 yards in the touchdown. Like, He's clearly better than Cam Newton at the point of this at the point of this career, whatever the word is. At this point of their careers, Matt Jones is better. He's the better quarterback. He comes off as a great leader. Oh, maybe that one year wasn't a fluke at Alabama because I always judge the quarterbacks when they only had one good year in college. That's why I'm such a big fan of Justin Fields because his numbers were steady. Um, but Matt Jones put up numbers and well he had that team around him too though but he put up them numbers and Matt Jones Matt Jones looked good I mean I told people Justin Fields Matt Jones um Jacob Eason even though he was drafted I think third or fourth round he's becoming one of my favorite quarterbacks in the draft but um Trey Lance uh, he's that dude too um I'm excluding Trevor Lawrence but I really like those two, like Justin Fields, uh, Matt Jones. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Zach Wilson, but I, even if Matt Jones don't play this year, let, let's let say um, Bill Belichick, this is a wash year, right? He let Cam Newton do his thing, but I don't see Bill Belichick doing that. But Matt Jones is going to play. I'm telling you, if Cam Newton start, Matt Jones is going to play because Cam Newton going to have one of those games. And it's like, get this dude out of here. Matt Jones is going to come in and ball out. See, Cam Newton had the privilege of the quarterbacks that was behind him wasn't good. Stidham, not good. Hoyer, not good. So it's like, hey, I stick with Cam. He He's better than those two. And trust me, um, Bill Belichick will pull that plug. Like, he, he did it when Tom Brady years ago. Drew Bledsoe was that dude back at that time, but Tom Brady looked good. He kept Tom Brady in, and and history is history, right? And can't deny that, even though Tom went to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and did his thing. And I think at this point, Bill Belichick won to win because it's the it's the big debate, right? Um, I'm not a Patriots fan, but I always hear it between debate shows and between Patriots fans. Uh, who who's the real reason why the Patriots were so dominant for years? Was it Tom Brady or was it Bill Belichick? And um and both points are very good. But, um, Bill Belichick, the leader of that defense. Anytime um, Tom Brady really won the Super Bowl, the defense was playing at a high level. Anytime the defense slipped up a bit, they could not win the Super Bowl. Eagles, for example, salute to my team. Defense didn't show up. Eagles won. Um, the defense, the defense showed up for the Giants, but in the key moments when they really needed them, Giants made better plays. So once again, anytime the Patriots won the Super Bowl, their defense was playing at a high level. Tom Brady did his thing, of course. So uh, that's the big debate. That's the big debate. And if I was part of that debate because I'm not a Patriots fan at all. I think Bill Belichick is the best coach to ever live. I think he's one of the best coaches to ever live. Um, 
and you paired them with a great quarterback. So look what happens. Greatness happens when you pair the two. So I think Matt Jones, Matt Jones had potential. Safe to say, Matt Jones have potential to be that dude. His numbers are there. Um, I seen him with the first team a bit, and I was watching the training camps. Like, of course, I'm watching my team, but I was watching the Patriots too because my brother is a big Patriots fan. So I'm watching a training camp, and that's why I made a video. Like, you know what, Matt Matt Jones, Matt Jones is pretty good. Even though I was tripping, this dude is he's really good. Like Justin Fields is really good. Um, I think Trevor Lawrence is going to go through it. Um, Trey Lance, it looked like he still got some development to do. So um, th that that dude, Matt Jones, is it looked like he can be some. Look like he can be some, man. Um, and you pair him in a great position. That's that's probably one of the benefits getting drafted later. Is that you more than likely is going to go to a better team. Like if you get drafted and one through five. I mean, your team almost rebuilt them unless they made a trade like Miami Dolphins. It, they was in the top, well, five, top 10, but they was traded. They already had those picks and that team is already built. So that's the benefit Matt Jones got over uh, uh, Trey Lance or Trevor Lawrence. He's in a great situation. But what do you think and how do you feel? Who should get that starting spot? I say Cam Newton is going to get it, but how long is he going to hold on to it? How long is he going to hold on to it till he mess up? And Cam Newton was one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league. I'm actually sad that I'm talking about him like this, but Matt Jones is the better quarterback right now. Numbers don't lie. The player don't lie. The camp don't lie. Matt Jones look good. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.